hello viewers in today's video we are going to learn how to create a flyer this flyer is going to be in the form of a label okay it's actually a shadow label i made for one client and i decided to post a tutorial on this so before we move on please hit on the subscribe button to sh show your support and also please do share the video to get more people out there who are interested in learning it to also get their chance okay so i'll launch my photoshop app i'll create a new file i'll be using centimeters for this the width i'm going to make 10 centimeters and the height i'm going with five centimeters the resolution will be 300 okay now the first thing i'm going to do is to create a gradient background so i come to gradient here i select i already created this gradient let me give you the hexa code so that you can also get the same colors okay so for the first color the hexa code is 673201 okay it's 73201 and the second color has it as a the mark code to be fbb 40a this is it fbb 40a so after choosing these two colors select ok then you make it radial okay the style you make it radial and reverse it here okay you can try and transform it out a bit we make sure it's what's radial however you do it don't worry it's still going to work so you can actually let me close it in a little bit okay this is good for me then i'll select ok here okay now i downloaded some resources for this work i've already removed the background so that it wouldn't take up much of our time okay so the for now i'll bring in my first resource i'll import it so that i'll use it for the background and that's this picture this is a jpeg picture i didn't remove the background of this because it's not needed okay then let me try and transform it out a little bit so control plus t okay this is okay i can manage with this then i click on the check mark use the move tool to move it to there now i'm going to rasterize it so i'll right click on it and select rasterize then come to the blending options here and select overlay this is how it's going to look like okay then you come to the layer max option to mask it up so that you can clean some parts of so after clicking on the layer mask you come to the brush tool you make sure this place has the black at the top not the white so you make the black at the top and reduce the flow I have the flow to be 9% so I'll try and clean off the edges with this this is how it's going to be let me clean off the edges I clean off the down edges as well to make it more nice interesting okay so I think I can leave it as that right all come in this place wasn't really smooth enough now I would like to create this sort of barrier here I have this intuition of creating this thing here so I'll select the line tool 
and reduce the weight up here I think let me try out 9 if 9 will be okay then I'll use 9 okay I think 9 is good then I change the color to white are you following okay so after doing this we try and bring in the name of the um, the label or the products name so I'll come up I'll select the test tool okay then I'll type in the name of the clients or the products I worked on okay I don't want to change it and his name was Auntie Maggie so Auntie Maggie's let's make it Auntie Maggie's sorry Auntie Maggie's sorry that I had this okay Auntie Maggie's then I'll come up here and select a font called Poppins very bold and I would like a bold font for this name okay very bold and I'll go with the color blue so let me see so the hexa for this num this color is also 0018FF okay then I'll come to the character panel or you can also click here for the character panel and then I'll close the gaps in between them and increase the font size okay something like this then I'll select the move to hit on the keyboard control plus A to select or then I'll center it okay it's already centered now I remove the selection by using control D okay now with this I think the anti magi came out too big let me reduce it a little bit okay I think this is okay now with this I can add the shader to it as well so anti magi shader so come here type shader okay then I come up here this font the font I'm going to use is called beautiful people don't worry if you don't have the font I'll try and provide it in the description or you can also just go to Google search beautiful people font you get so many links to download it for free okay so there's a font beautiful people I'll change the color to white I'll click on the check mark here okay I'll bring it a little up here okay then I'll try and drop a shadow so that it comes out well let me move this so that I can see the shadow okay this is okay for me now I'm going to transform the shadow so that it lies very well with the anti -maggi. so I'll try and resize it and afterwards rotate it a bit okay so this is how it's going to look like and see Maggie's shadow oh. now we can move on right now let me try and bring in the other resources I downloaded I downloaded a jar of shadow oh from the online by I removed the background so that I can easily use it okay so this is it jar of shadow I click on the check mark let me bring it down a little bit let me bring in the other resources as well okay so that we can I have this one as well a shadow a container of shadow here let me okay let me bring in the other ones and afterwards I'll know whether or not to resize them I have these onions PNG as well I have already showed you the method in removing the background okay that's why 
I didn't add that part to the video but if you still would need that part you can hit me up in the comment section maybe I'll leave the resources for you so that you can use it for your work now at this yeah, I'm coming to bring in the last resource or oh, no last but one resource here I have the made in Ghana logo so I'll bring this one here let me let the onion come in front that it looks more appealing yes and bring this one here a bit I'll con resize yes I'll resize this so that it doesn't look too big so it will be like something like this on the container okay now the last resource to be needed that's the logo made in Ghana logo so I'll import that one too as well okay then I'll move it to this scanner here I think this scanner is okay then I'll select the check mark very impressive right yes now I think we are left with some info on it that we, I'm using the original info for this shitter or this label so if you want to contact the person for some of her shitter you can also contact her so I'll come to my shapes tool here then I'll select the rectangle tool I'll create a very little rectangle up here and make the color white okay make the color white then I'll hit ctrl plus T to transform it afterwards I'll select skew after selecting skew I come the first point up here and move it back a little bit okay then after hours I right click again and select scale and make sure I transform it down a bit so that it will be a little bigger okay so this is what I have here in this box I'm going to type in info okay info about the shit or whatever and I'm not going to use this font I'll go with poppins again so that it looks nice in it and I'm going with bold yes the bold poppins reduce the fonts I'll go with this color again so I'll just select the color from here and I have to reduce the fonts a little down or too much okay so this is how it will look in full then I'll add the location and the um, contact number so that's the only thing left to be added the location and the contact number so I'll come here again the location is Amas sorry my caps lock was on Ama Saman the blue There is the location but I wouldn't use this blue color it wouldn't come out well. so I'll use a white here and the font to I'll change it to acrobat acrobat I think the board is okay let me see extra bold okay acrobat extra bold reduce it out I'm a summon the blue I think I should let it go down a bit more this is very okay now I'll come to the layers and duplicate this layer okay but first I'll select the move to and duplicate this with ctrl plus J okay then afterwards I'll move the second layer downwards then I'll type in the phone number 024297-2006 okay so there's the phone number here I'll increase the size so that I can match up with the test a little bit 
although it shouldn't be too big okay I think I'm almost done let me come up here rectangle and info I'll select it on the layer okay both of them together then bring it down a bit okay so I think this uh, shadow label I can resize it in anyhow when I'm printing it out but I'll leave it here uh, leave the views for you how do you think it turns out? if you liked it you tell me in the comment section if you think there was something you could have done to make it more attractive too you can tell me in the comment section so when you want to save this you come to file save us you save this as a jpeg file okay you always make sure you save this as a jpeg file then you go on with it i'll end to this video here thank you for watching to the end and wish to see you next time with more tips and tricks on the world of photoshop goodbye